Tommy now knows that his uncle Smokey and his crew are seal hunters, but a layer of snow has temporarily halted Smokey's seal hunting activities. Unfortunately, Carbon and Sulfuric intend to help Smokey out of his predicament. Will these scoundrels try to hunt the baby seals again? Will Tommy and his new friend Seabert be able to stop them? Let's find out. Uh, have you seen Smokey? No, not since yesterday. Could that be Smokey? Let's take a look. Whoa! <laughs> knock, knock. Is anybody there? Are you there, boss? I recognize him. Maybe we better get him back to the boat. Yeah, good idea. We'll try to thaw him out. Haul away, Carbone. Easy. Uh -oh. Boy, Carbone, you really did it this time. I told you you should let me work that crane. It was an accident. Might till everybody finds out we're working for a snowman. Shh, be careful. Smokey can hear you. Ah, he's covered with so much snow, he's probably hibernating. Hibernating? What's hibernating? That's when you go to sleep for six months at a stretch. Asleep for six months? Don't you get hungry? Nah, you're too busy dreaming. Yeah, <laughs> dreaming about food. Boy, when we thaw that guy out, he's gonna be fit to be tied. Maybe we should let him stay frozen. Yeah. Hmm, just think of it. No more being bossed around. No more having to work long hours. Yeah, we could even take longer lunch breaks. Only one thing, though. What's that? We don't have any room in the refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, this'll be perfect. I'll start up the furnace, and you fetch the coal. On with the defrosting. You're a big, fat idiot. I'm not that stupid. You ask for coal, I give you coal. You're an idiot! I am not an idiot. Hey, you! Help me! Put the coal in the boiler! Must I do everything around here? What kind of foolish creatures are you guys? Bird brains? Space cadets? Worthless! You fools! You couldn't manage to find me any sooner? I'll defrost the two of you! Ah! You idiots! Let's go. We have to find the kid and his dirty seal now. There! I bet we find your parents here, Siebert. Go on, Siebert. It's okay. Go ahead. A spear. What's wrong? Do you think I'll harm the seals? No, no, no. I wouldn't hurt them. They're my friends. You're lying. All you seal hunters are the same, killing innocent baby seals. Oh, no, no. I'm not a seal hunter. I would never hurt a defenseless animal. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Seabird. You are a friend of the baby seals. Oh, you've given him a collar, too. Oh, it's beautiful. 
You must be okay. Any friend of Seabird's is a friend of mine. You know, we Eskimos don't hunt baby seals. My name is Aura. My name is Tommy, and I just got here with my Uncle Smokey. He's a hunter. Tommy? The hunters! There they are! They're after the seals! Come on, we've got to stop them. What the? Look, the seals are escaping. What's going on here, Smokey? I thought you said the kid wasn't gonna be any trouble. Yeah, and he's got a friend, too. And they chased away all the baby seals. Not quite. There's one seal left. I'll keep the kids busy. You two get that seal. Children, children, what seems to be the problem here? You know perfectly well what the problem is, Uncle Smokey. You are trying to harm those baby seals. Harm the baby seals? Us? No, you have it all wrong. Don't try and fool us, mister. Seabird, run! Oh, you, how could you? They're gaining on him. Poor Seabird. Come on, Aura. We've got to save him. What do we do now, Sulfuric? He got away. He's not getting away from me this time. Dig! Look, Tommy! It's... Shh! Look! One baby seal? It looks like I have to take care of this myself. Come on. Tommy, this is the last time I'm going to tell you. Go back to the boat. I'll explain everything to you when we get back there. Now get going. I've got work to do. <laughs> You an Eskimo? You defend seals? Ooh. Ooh. You let go of her. I won't let you hurt her. Ow! Ow! Get him, boss. What? Look out, guys! Spears! Spears? But who's throwing them? We're under attack. Let's get out of here. Papa! He's come to help us. He won't let them hurt any more baby seals. You there. What do you want with these children? Who, oh, us? What with these lovely children? Why, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. They're dirty seal hunters, Papa, and they were trying to hurt our friend, Seabert. You three will wait here until the authorities arrive. Papa, they're getting away. Stop them. Don't worry, Aura. We'll catch up with them later. to meet Tommy. He protects the seals. His uncle is the one that commands the hunters. Yes, my uncle isn't all bad, but I don't want to go back with him anymore. I want to help the baby seals. Why don't you come and stay with us for a while? We will give you shelter and teach you all you need to know about our country. Thank you. I accept. Come, let's go home. See you later, Seabert.
Of course, I'm glad that he found his parents. But now I miss him. Seabird is here! Oh, Seabird! We're so glad you're here! Now we're friends forever. Okay, Aura? A courageous trio has been formed, and for the time being, Smokey's seal hunting plans have been foiled. But many other hunters may still have the same evil ideas. What new dangers await Tommy, Aura, and Seabird as another day begins in the Eskimo village? Morning, kids. Time to get up. <laughs> Papa, right now? Just a little longer. <sighs> You prefer to stay in bed? Don't you want to see the surprise? A surprise? What surprise? Well, get up and come with me. There, Tommy. It is for Siebert and you. The two of you will be better off there. That's fantastic. Follow me. Let's look inside. You and Siebert will be safe and warm here. Tommy, you sleep over there, and Siebert, you sleep there. Let me show you one more thing. This is for Siebert. He will be able to go in easily. Now your turn, my good friend. Try it. Come on, Siebert, be adventurous. Go on, don't be afraid. <laughs> now, come outside. You haven't seen the best part. Tommy, Aura, you each have one of your own. Fantastic! I'm going to be able to explore all of Greenland. Look, Tommy. Here you have a two-way radio. Oh, and here, a radar. We thought you'd need it to report on the seal hunters, Tommy. It also functions as a hovercraft. The principle is very simple. What are you looking at? Ah, uh, just those Eskimos down there. I hope they don't find out what we're doing. No chance. Graphite has it all figured. Let's go, Aura. Let's have a race. I'm taking Siebert with me. I'm going to win. What is the helicopter looking for? Siebert had an uneasy feeling when he saw it. you sleep, Seabird? Does this helicopter give you bad memories? Seabird? What are you doing there? Why haven't you slept in your bed? Wake up! Haven't you had enough sleep? What's wrong, Seabird? It's that helicopter, isn't it? But it's nothing to worry about, Siebert. He's gone. He's far away now. You want someone to try and find it? Okay, let's go. Ara, come here. We're going to find the helicopter. Siebert's afraid, and I want to show him that there isn't any danger. Okay, Siebert, I'm here. Meanwhile, not too far away, these seals are basking in the sun, unaware of the great danger that is threatening their offspring. We got a herd of about 50 here. There's a group of babies right in front of us. Get in here fast. I got him in sight. 
<laughs> Boy, this is gonna be fun. of Greenland, Tommy, Siebert, and Ara have not yet been successful in finding any clues which could lead them to the whereabouts of the helicopter. There's only empty sea from here, Siebert. You want to go to the icebergs to be sure? Okay. Good time to see how the hovercraft works. Yeah! Yay! I bet we find something there. I'm sure of it. It's time we started surveying the area. Connect the radar, Aura. There's a mass of metal in that iceberg. Let's check it out. There must be metal behind that ice. Come on, Aura. Look, there's steps cut into the ice. Let's follow it. Well, it looks as if we found our helicopter. I know that man. Okay, men, let's double time it. Let's get those crates stacked up now. Gee whiz, Graphite. Look, pal, if you don't like it, there are plenty of men waiting for a chance to wake here. Now get to wake. How we doing, Larry? Well, boss, the take's been off the last couple of weeks. Uh, you're spending all the profits. I can spend what I want. I own this money maker. Sure, I know that. But look, accounts receivable is down the tubes. Look, I pay you to keep the books straight, so keep them that way or get out of here. Yes, boss. Keep working, you clowns. We got to fill these orders. I hope that's not what I think it is. Let's take a look. in these cases. Oh, no. We have to do something. We promised, remember? I have a good idea, but it's necessary to wait for nightfall. Okay, then, let's wait. Okay, that will stop them with those wires crossed. They won't even be able to start the chopper. <sighs> Let's see him try to get seals with a chopper that won't start. Group B, boat number nine, section D3. Group C, boat number one, section D2. Meet over there. I'm taking the helicopter. Affirmative, Chief. What are you doing? Step on it. We should already be in the air. What's going on, Tommy? I don't know. It wasn't supposed to start up. Oh!
gasoline. Ah, my campfire lighter. Duh, don't do that. Whoa! Let's take advantage of this. Let's go. Be back for a long time after this. <laughs> Tommy and Ara have kept their promise. Another plot of the seal hunters has been foiled. But will this trio always be so successful in spoiling the plans of poachers? To find out, tune in to the next exciting episode of Seabird.